All right, it is time to add color to our picture. In this video, we're gonna review how to use our color pencils. Color pencils are a great art tool, and when used properly, you can get a lot of precision and detail in your artwork. I like to start by outlining the basic lines that make my palm tree and going through and adding a little bit of texture as I go. Once I'm done with one section, I'll color it in, and if I wanna go back in and make those original lines a little darker, I can. It's all about layering when it comes to color pencils, whether you're layering with one color or another color, and just going back in until your layers seem like they have the vibrancy that you want. Another really important thing about coloring with color pencils is you have to always keep in mind the texture. So if you want your lines that you're coloring with to add to your texture, think of the flow of what you're coloring. As I'm coloring this palm tree, I'm thinking of how the palm fronds will kind of scatter around in different directions. So I'm making sure that how I'm coloring it in, it goes in that same direction. Let your texture lines and your coloring direction work together to create a really nice, seamless picture. Remember, sometimes a little bit of extra effort on these little steps can pay off big time when it comes to your overall picture. Texture is how the surface of an object feels when you touch it or how it looks like it feels when you touch it. Now, on this picture, I'm adding these curved horizontal lines to my palm tree to not only add texture, but to also give a little bit of form and make my palm tree look round. For really large spaces on your paper, you can use color sticks to color it in. It's really important that these spaces are on the bigger side because color sticks are kind of hard to control when it comes to smaller objects and fine detail. They are absolutely wonderful when it comes to coloring in larger spaces and blending colors together. They're like the best of both worlds. There are color pencils that you don't have to sharpen every five minutes to get a large space colored in. Again, the color sticks are basically like woodless color pencils. You don't have to keep sharpening them, but they're not that great when it comes to small, fine detail. So be sure that you're planning out your picture and only using them for the big, big spaces. One thing that's really great about color sticks is their ability to blend. So if you do have a large space like water or sky, you can get a nice blend by overlapping the colors and kind of just going back and forth with giving a nice blend and contrast and fading from one color to another. Every time you color something in, you're going to leave little lines that show texture. You want those lines to work for you. So when I'm coloring the sky, I'm coloring it horizontally from left to right because I know that clouds kind of go from left to right and things in the sky tend to look that way. 
So if you're coloring other things with texture, you can choose the direction of that space. The very last thing that I like to do with my color pencils is to go back over and see if there's any other areas that could use a little bit more vibrancy, maybe another level of color, or if there's an area that is lacking with texture and I wanna add some texture. The final thing I like to do is to go back in with my black color pencil and to ask myself if there is anything that I really want to stand out in my picture. Is there anything that I'd like to add a shadow to in my picture? Think about the way your sun would be casting a shadow on certain sides of your um, tree or anything that is in your picture. So in this picture, I have a tree, so I added a little bit of shadow towards the bottom. And that's a wrap.